So I'm going to kind of wrap up. Um, I'm not sure if it's really allowed for the host to, to do a talk, but never mind, I'm in charge. <laughs> and I just want to talk about what's happening with Clean Web in the UK. Um, I mean, you know, we've seen a lot about it tonight, but you know, where have we come from and where are we going? How does it relate to everything else that's going on in the world? Um, so we've been using this word Clean Web a lot tonight. I deliberately didn't define it at the beginning. Um, I think we've seen uh, the projects have shown what a very exciting space it is, and it's this in the middle space between clean tech, sustainability, and sort of offline things. With, they are fast, aren't they? Jesus. <laughs> and they are things online. Um, and the UK has been doing this for ages. We've been leading the world in this since. I mean, the, I can find projects going back to 2005, but probably earlier. Um, but the first carbon calculators were here. The first socially engaged developer communities were here. we the rest of the world is now catching up. Um, this is, you know, it's taken a while, but this is becoming a global movement, though obviously, as you can tell, we could do it a bit sort of over there and down there, outside the Western world. But we're all becoming part of a community that's trying to make a larger difference. Clean Web UK, which is the group that's organised tonight, are trying to pull together the strings of people who are doing this here. We've all been doing this for a long time. We don't necessarily all know each other, but through various meetups and things, we're the biggest and most active group in the world, uh, which is good. <laughs> The best one, which is good, because we've got some serious work to do, uh, and we're going to have to work together to do it. Um, I love this picture. <laughs> um, back in 2008, at uh, a conference called Kyoto, which some of you were probably at, and I did a talk with a fairly pretentious title called "Can Software Save the Planet?" and it was intentionally pretentious because actually my answer was no, not really. Though we can help. But you know, we're not going to create clean power or pull carbon out of the atmosphere or anything like that, but we can help out. Um, I've actually changed my mind. <laughs> I think that's rubbish. Uh, because every line of code that you write that helps save someone energy, um, you turn off a bit of one of these. That's what you're doing, and you're replacing it with the world's cleanest, greenest energy source. You might not be building wind turbines, but better. Every time you write code to get people off private and onto public transport, you're taking one of these off the road. If you can get someone to buy local food, you're emptying a container ship. You know, it's, your, your code is turning into real difference. Um, so now my answer is hell yes. <laughs> Software can save the planet. And actually, I now think it's the only thing that we can actually scale fast enough to turn things around in the short time that we've got available. Everything else has got, you know, some cost and things. This is the only thing we can do quick enough. But we need more. We need a lot more. We need thousands of ideas just to get to the few that will work. And we've got to inspire makers, like you guys, to work on the real problems. Um, and that's why I've created this. Um, I'd like to present the Clean Web Manifesto, which is an attempt to inspire people to take that positive step and work on the real problems that are actually really going to make a difference in the world. So, here it is. I get to read this bit, so it's nice and easy. So we know that as a species we're hitting the limits in resources, pollution, and our impact on the natural world. We know that exponential growth in a closed system is dangerous. And we know that we have to reduce the impact of our society immediately, or face widespread systemic failure. Because, as ten <laughs> we know what happens if we don't. <laughs> If you're just letting things carry on, everything's fine, and then suddenly, oh, we don't want a blue screen planet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, back to the tech. As, as makers and entrepreneurs, our task is to make these constraints work for us. Use our creativity to deliver progress without the costs that we previously accepted as a side effect of that work. We have very, very little time but we have an incredibly powerful tool at our disposal. We have to apply the power of the web to make change happen at all levels of society, transforming businesses, governments, and citizens on a massive scale. So, and here's the, uh, the pledge part. Beginning today, we will dedicate ourselves to this mission. We'll work on projects with true meaning that make the future a better place to be, rather than creating illusory short-term value. And now, I need all of you guys to go out and get people to join. Join us. Let's build this movement, let's get more and more people involved, because it's a hell of a mission, it's very exciting. We can make a real difference, but we have to evangelize, we have to get people 
on board. Because if we don't, we're going to need some new arrow codes. <laughs>